So here we are, early August, cold in Australia. Uh, six weeks ago, back in mid-June, Yamaha launched this bike, the 2014 model YZ450F over in America. Uh, more recently, only a couple of weeks ago, they, uh, Yamaha Australia launched the bike in Australia, uh, up at Queensland Motor Park, and we went up there. So look, instead of doing a ride impression all over again, yes, there's some different set of setup. We have an Oceania spec here, spring rates are a little bit different from the one that they get in America and the, and the bike that they get in uh, Europe for that matter. But instead of just doing a, a straight up ride impression on this bike in isolation, what we decided to do was put it up against the 2013 model. So as most of you, of you already know, the 2013 model in a lot of ways is the same as what Yamaha released in, in 2010. There's a few little different bits and pieces in terms of the colour and guard, etc, etc. But the, you know, the 2013 model is essentially the same as, as the 2010 model YZ450F, um, considered really revolutionary at the time, which came out with a, with a reverse cylinder, etc, uh, etc. Et so it's been really interesting. Um, some big upgrades. 2014 comes out with a whole lot of different chassis. Essentially, they've moved the steering head 10 mil further back to put a little bit more weight over the front, stiffen the front ep end up by um, you know it's a larger 22 mil axle and some some triple clamp work. Done a lot of work to the ergos, a lot of work to the engine. Now it has a header that encircles the whole thing. Um, Big design philosophy, really centralising the mass of the bike to make it feel a lot lighter. Uh, we put it on the scales a little earlier today, it was only half a kilo lighter. So it's been really interesting. So instead of just believing the hype of the, of the brochure, of the 2013, sorry, 2014 brochure, what we thought we'd do is we'd, we'd put the two back to back. Uh, we went out to Lakes, a really hard, hard pack track that's been used in the Nationals uh, a little earlier today and the boys cut a lot of laps on the bikes. Um, that gave us a real insight into the personality, a lot of up and down hills, so gave us a real good feel for, for chassis, braking, engine, etc. Um, and because really you've got to test the bike in different terrain, we've come out here to a, to a sand track at a mate's place, um, you know, just to really feel the sort of torque of the engine and how the chassis uh, behaves in completely different terrain. So that's that side of the equation. This is going to create a, uh, a big big uh, feature which is going to be in the October issue of the magazine which is going to be on sale in uh, in early September. What we also thought we'd do, um, sitting over my shoulder you might have noticed a green motorcycle sitting over there, The uh, that's the 2014 uh, Kawasaki KX450F. Uh, in 2013 that won our shootout, our 450 motocross shootout and uh, it's probably fair to say that it won quite a few shootouts around the world. So uh, again the idea once we were done testing the two Yamahas back to back and getting a real feel for the difference in the personalities of the bikes, um, what we decided to do is put the 2014 Yami up against the 2014 Kawi just to sort of, I guess, well really the Kawi is the benchmark. Um, uh, it's had the you know it's had the biggest biggest engine this last year, biggest, smoothest, broadest power, fantastically balanced chassis. It's got the new Kyoba PSF fork, uh, the air fork in the thing, and they've done a fantastic job with the first time around. So uh, again, as a as a sidebar, uh, at the end of our 2013 versus 14 Yamaha story, we've just sort of pitted the, the 2014 Yami. Not a shootout, not a definitive answer on which bike is is categorically better, but again, just a bit of an insight into the differences between the bike. Has the Yamaha caught up to the Kawi? Has it gone past it? I don't know, but you're going to have to go and get the uh, October issue, which is on sale in early September, uh, to read all about it. We'll also have a little bit of extra stuff online. There's been plenty of changes made to 2014 YZ450. Like the boys only let me pick one, so and I'm real big on how a bike steers, so I'm going to run with that. And the, um, the huge improvements on the new bike, just the way the front sticks in and and steers like when you're braking into a corner and you get off the brakes you can get off the brakes a lot earlier and just steer it in you have no dramas with pushing the front and it just feels a lot more stable in the corners and and easier to ride uh the 14 motor i found compared to the 13 just seems to be just a really smooth motor and um really usable power where, where we're testing on the on the hard pack i just found it to really really controllable the throttle just uh gives you the best response to the back wheel so to me, that was uh, a big winner for the for the new bike, uh, and induction noise is that just about gone. So, yeah, it's quite quite interesting when you ride the two back to back. The the 14 to me uh, is a much better bike. I found the the biggest difference between the 2013 and 2014 bike is the you know the handling, the how it feels between your legs. You know, it, it's a lot more nimble, and I found it, it turns really well, and and it feels really nice to sit on and. You know, I find I can um, flip flop it and throw it around a lot more. So that's the, the biggest point for me is just, you know, how, how the bike feels and, and I think it's a step forward.